Our main work is um, fire rate glazing systems for doors, windows, curtain wall and screens, mainly inside the internals of buildings where uh, fire barriers are required to enable people to escape or retain fire. We range from schools, colleges, hospitals, offices, any, any, any public building really. There's not so many companies in the UK doing the, the thing we're doing, so it's a bit of a niche market really. We come across the lab through Mass. We work with Mass very closely, who's uh, mentored me through the years in, in how to grow the company. And we decided to look at automated machinery to make things quicker and, and obviously make more use of the skilled people we've got. So we approached them for some funding towards some new machinery, and, and that's where we got on board with them, really. And quite easily approachable, and it was quite easy to get the grant, really. Quite surprised how quick it went through. It was in less than a week from applying to when we got an answer. Their approach and how they dealt with it was, was fantastic. There's a massive short of skills at the moment in the engineering trade. So everybody's getting busy again and there's, there's not enough people to go around. We've opted to take on two apprentices a year and we have done over the past three years because the product we're manufacturing is, is not widely done around this area. It's a different product altogether. So bringing them in as youngsters, it, it trains them up to what we want them to do on, on our product and it's educating them from the beginning rather than trying to bring a skill man and change what he's been doing and what industry he's been into the trade we're in, you know, so it's a lot easier with apprentices. Part of our future for expansion, if we decide to move factory or buy new machinery for, uh, for increasing turnover and growth, we, we will definitely approach LEP again. 